Uh, my name is Heather Sinclair, and I've just finished my first year at Islesboro. Um, I'm the chair of and entire member of the science department, and one of the things that's been really exciting for me about this job is that I joined the staff um, at ICS at a time of tremendous transformation, and it's been a really exciting year to come into a new job, and as part of that, to get to look ahead to a tremendous building renovation. The, the changes that are going to happen to the, the structure that, 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 that is the home of our school are, are really, really, really enormous. And I think they're going to have an impact on us as a community, but also on us as educators. So here we are to commemorate this historical moment where this island, this community, this group of people who are here in person and in spirit support this school this very unique place. This school looks like, like other schools. Uh, my name is Shay Conover. I've lived on Islesboro for about six and a half years and I am the parent of Harper who is now a 16 month old and I'm very happy and looking forward to when he will be joining the Islesboro Central School team. I am really excited about the school renovation project. I think uh, it's an exciting time to be living on Islesboro and an exciting time for the school. And I think it's really going to make a difference for the students. This is, this is a place that they've been accustomed to for so long and, and some of those changes are huge. So raise your hand every time we say something that is a memory for you. Or sneaking into the building through the bathroom windows. <laughs> <laughs> Finding all ca cars piled up because there's no parking for the students. We thank you for all your support in making this possible because our new school is a very special place and this is just the upgrade needs to create new memories for generations to come. The hope is that there will be enough continuity and enough that's the same about the, the building after the renovations that it will still feel as magical as it does um, with some modern amenities. I'm happy that we're going to have a regulation sized gym for the first time. Um, it's pretty cool because now we're going to be able to play prelim games on it if we need to. We've never been able to. We had to go play at their court. It's nice to have a wood floor too. Nice new wood floor. I think it's an amazing testament to the town and the community, a real recognition that the school is a valuable contribution to the community and a really important asset that the town and the community is able to raise a lot of money privately as well as contribute uh, so much public money. But I think that the construction is definitely going to be a huge improvement to the school. From all the plans I've seen, it, it just looks amazing, the stuff that's going to be accomplished. Um, I think that it, in a way the, the building renovation is kind of symbolic to, to something bigger that's happening with the school and the, and the island as a whole. And I'm really excited to be a part of it. Also just as exciting is that the school has got some great teachers and some great school leadership right now that is going to maximize the potential that this new opportunity has to make the school, uh, continue to make the school a strength for the community uh, and something that's going to last well into the future. Of course, one has to wonder the effect that this construction will have on our school ghost, Mrs. Atterbury. You have to wonder, since the old staircase is being removed and a lot of the other original inside of the house is being renovated or removed altogether, you have to wonder, will she still consider the school her home? Will she come back and visit us? Will she open our doors as usual? Will she make it creepy to be in there at night? Or will she be gone? It would be a very sad thing to lose our school ghost.